Muslim group challenges religious conversion laws in Indian Supreme Court. On January 5th, the Muslim organization uh, Jamiat Ulama Hind moved the Supreme Court of India to challenge the constitutional validity of the anti-conversion laws of five states, claiming that it invades the privacy of an individual's personal decision to adopt another faith. The legality of the anti-conversion laws of the state of Uttarakhand, uh, Himachal Province, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Jugrat, I know I never say that right, and Uttar Pradesh, was challenged in a public li interest litigation, or PIL, filed by the organization. The laws require individuals to disclose their conversion involuntarily, and the religious leader who conducts the ceremony has to contact the local district, district magistrate for prior permission. The converts are the ones who have to present the burden of proof to prove that their conversion to another faith wasn't fueled by some coercion or allurement, quote unquote. The petition said that, quote, these provisions force a person to disclose his faith and thereby invade into the privacy of a person. The compulsory disclosure of one's religion in any form amounts to a violation of their right to manifest his or her beliefs. Therefore, such disclosure is an unconstitutional. So let me give a little background for people who maybe don't know what this is about and why this is a big deal. In India, there are several states, I think possibly as many as one third of all of the states in the country that have some form of anti-conversion law on the books. And sometimes they're called anti-conversion laws, anti-forced conversion, anti-love jihad, or religious freedom bills. But they're not religious freedom. And this has to do with right-wing hysteria regarding mass conversions or a general demographic shift away from Hinduism. And this can happen in the form of... Um, quote unquote, love jihad, which is a conspiracy theory that Muslim men are pretending to be Hindu men and then making Hindu women fall in love with them. And then after they get married, revealing that they are actually Muslims and then forcing that woman to convert to Islam. And then all their children are going to be Muslims. And then this is going to change the demographics of India into an Islamic state. <laughs> so that's the love jihad portion of it. Or it's just general... Um, fears around people leaving Hinduism. Some of these laws in different states are so explicit that it basically in the law, it says not, it doesn't say it literally, but if you read and understand it, it's basically saying that, oh, okay, but if someone from Christianity or Islam or a different religion converts to Hinduism, then that's not going to be you know, subject to the same scrutiny. But if you're leaving Hinduism, you have to give a district magistrate 30 days notice and you have the burden of proof, which means that instead of the state saying, oh, okay, we think that you're forced to convert for whatever reason, and we have to prove it because we're the prosecutors, so to speak, the burden of proof is on the person converting to say, I was not forced to do this. But how do you prove something that never happened? It's ridiculous. So um, it's like it kind of the opposite of innocent until proven guilty, you know, so to speak. And so this is really obviously, in my opinion, a huge overstep of the state. It's weird as hell to me that the state would be involved with this to any degree. But then also... There are so many religious freedom issues surrounding this, like the, uh, dozens that I can think of off the top of my head. And this is what's supposedly in the name of religious freedom, right? So anyways, all of this is basically, this Muslim organization is challenging these statutes in five different states. Now, I don't know the history of this particular Muslim organization. There's a lot of Muslim organizations in India that do a lot of sketchy shit, okay? So I'm not endorsing necessarily this organization, but I am in favor of what this PLI is advocating for, what it hopes to achieve. 
And they took an interesting approach to their argumentation in terms of arguing off of the basis of the right to privacy instead of arguing off the basis of violations of the portions of the Constitution related to religious freedom. Um, so yeah, I found I, I thought this was very, very interesting and very relevant to what we talk about. Armin, what is your reaction? Just a quick um, reaction. This is, uh, I'm happy and also kind of upset about this, okay? I mean, I'm, I support this group doing this. Okay? I, I think they're doing a good thing. I just wish there was a secular group. I mean, India has a whole bunch of secular and atheist groups. Where where have they been? Like, why have they not? Why did you guys wait wait enough for a Muslim group to pick this up? This is literally secularism. So yeah. let's be a little bit fair. In a, okay. we, I think it was last week we it's covered a, a case regarding the, um, you know, quote unquote, forced conversion law in Madhya Pradesh, and in that case. Um, there was actually a rationalist society that spoke in the court against okay. the narrative that they were pushing. So it seems that there are rationalist societies involved in aspects of fighting this, maybe okay. wherever they can in their state. It was just this again, particular organization filed this before the Supreme Court. Okay, again, I'm not saying this Muslim group shouldn't be doing this. Okay, I'm not saying like, hey, stop, they should stop, like, let, let the rationalists or the seculars or the atheists do it. I'm just saying, I'm just hoping that the atheist groups or secular groups or rational groups in India are also picking up a lot of this, you know, work, you know, um, because we, we need the, we need the positive press for atheists and secularists in India, right? So don't, you know, this is, could be a friendly competition. Don't let the, don't let the Muslims be the ones who are <laughs> the, <laughs> at the front of fighting for secularism. Again, I'm not saying like, stop them. I'm just saying like, outdo them. Okay. Because this is yeah. a good thing that they're doing. I mean, right? but, like we don't have nearly the same population and therefore funding to do this in the same capacity. Like, let's also be fair. Right. This is a okay. global problem that our community faces. Yeah. But and we, can, and we can use whatever help we can get. So whatever. So and this is additional context. My understanding from what our Indian lawyers have told me in the past is that when a public interest litigation is filed, it's going to be years until this is heard before the court. Because we were, <laughs> we had a public interest litigation filed against us. <laughs> and that still hasn't come to fruition like two years later. So, um, and if it does get further in the court system, then it will probably be bundled into other cases that are dealing with the same issue. But the Indian court system is so notoriously overburdened that it could be years before this matter is dealt with, which is really unfortunate because people are being actively abused under these laws. Like right now, I, I remember we covered when the Uttar Pradesh law came into effect. Like there were people being persecuted just like normal ass Muslim dudes being persecuted because of that law literally within the same week, like being falsely accused of notorious crap immediately afterwards. And so people are going to be getting their lives destroyed for like more and more years until this can finally be dealt with by the Supreme court, which is just so infuriating. All right. We need to highlight some, we got a super chat and we got some comments. So, it's, it's, but we, we, before we get to the super chat, read this one. Sorgu is. Sorgu is saying, do we know what the intentions of this Muslim group is? Not specifically. I feel like I remember the name of this Muslim group, but I tend to get them confused. So I'm not going to make claims. I I do not endorse, necessarily endorse anything this organization does. I don't know what their okay. agenda is. Okay. So we got a uh, super chat. Sec secular, secular Sakai. Sakai gave us a ten dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Secular Sakai. And also, Thank I you. miss you. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Um, he's saying it's been a super busy, busy week and a half for me, traveling now, but we'll be donating one hundred dollars to Operation Iranian Renaissance when I get back to my computer today. Keep on updating us with the news, Atheist Republic. Oh my God! Thank, Thank you, you so much, Sakai. This is so generous of you. We should include a link, start including a link to that in all our videos to up here. And we haven't. Yeah, done we should. I'm going to add that to my to-do list to make sure yeah. that we add that. Then, uh -oh. yeah, send that to me. Okay. Um, 
also for those of you who do not know what operation iranian renaissance is operation iranian renaissance is atheist republic's emergency translation project to provide life-saving manuals for iranian protesters translated into persian because in mm -hmm. english it's super easy to find you know information on how to protest safely how to make a gas mask how to fight tear yeah. gas all this stuff but this isn't easily found in persian so what we're doing is we have a whole project dedicated towards doing the translations and making materials that are easy to read with visuals and all this stuff to get this information to people inside of iran because obviously there isn't much else we can do to support them, but we have a huge community in Iran and it's very important to us and our hearts. So this is what we're doing. So thank you Sakai for being such a big supporter of what we do. Um, okay, let me add this to my to-do okay, list. Also, okay, okay, also talking about funding, we have another comment by One-Eyed Heathen saying, you want to respond to this, Susie, look at this. <laughs> One-Eyed Heathen is saying, wait, people are suing you? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, good, glad you asked. Um, in 2020, Armin made a tweet that blasphemed a Hindu goddess known as Kalima. And that set off two years of bullshit that we had to deal with. The Indian government banned our websites, banned us from Facebook. Uh, people were taking us to court in the Delhi High Court because of our tweets. We're ta technically taking Twitter, and then we became a party to the case. Like, lots of legal details. We were mentioned the Supreme Court of India, like the in the, <laughs> the Supreme Court of India. Our, our Twitter account and everything was brought up, so there's that. So why so. are people suing? Oh, we've had police reports filed against us, Armin? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, put right, for yeah. blasphemy. Our lawyers yeah. have officially told us that we should not go to India. <laughs> yes. So why are we have had to, doing you we have had to hire blasphemy? Yeah, we have had to hire lawyers. Lawyers and we had a whole legal fund and everything, which is still ongoing, by the way. So yeah, if you could support us, that would be great. However, do not support us again. Uh when I hear is saying, Oh wow, we'd love to donate to you guys. I'm currently broke. I totally support getting info about safe uh, protesting in Persia. Yeah, guys, if you are struggling financially, please donate. Don't donate to us. Just like the video. Liking the video helps our channel grow. So just do that, okay? <laughs> so, I think yeah. these comments are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. bread, bread of life, Rebecca. I love you. Oh hi. You again, she's saying, "Who would have known that it would be more controversial to blaspheme a Hindu god than Islam?" <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's so true and the activists that armin has known for 15 20 years of doing this activism they're like we have never seen this and we've been going after islam for over 20 years <laughs> like um <laughs> Shriyash's comment sends me <laughs> most expensive horny moment <laughs> this did turn it <laughs> arm in your face <laughs> you're like yeah <laughs> um Wait, yeah the, we've uh, had quite a journey uh, over the past two years and keep in mind that this happened all during my first year of C as being a ceo of atheist republic <laughs> let alone an activist in general i was like what is happening <laughs> um Hindustani uh, Bao is saying Indian courts are full of uh, Brahmin population as judges, almost 80% of Brahmins as a result of what? Uh, Collegium? The system. Collegium system. system. Like college, this I think. Uh, this decreased the justice rate. Okay, okay. Um, also, it seemed like you didn't pronounce something correctly. Did you say Gujarat wrong again? Gujarat? I don't Gujarat. know how to say it right. Gujarat. Guj Gujarat. Gujarat. What did you say though? Did you say Every time else? I say it, people, I think I said Gujarat. Gu Gujarat. No, not Jew. Not Jew. It's not Jew. It's Gu. Okay. It's not Jew, every it's time I, someone tells me how to say it, they tell me how to say it differently than the last time. 
So I've just I've just embraced J always saying it wrong. And it's okay. just a part of who I am at this point. It's a character, a feature. <laughs> it's it's not a game. bug. <laughs> what, Secular Sakai just celebrated um, his nine-month membership by saying, also going to donate $50 to the legal GoFundMe. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank guy you so, is so much. generous with us. I can't even believe yeah. it. See, look at now. Shriash is saying, telling me how to say it differently. Okay. It no, no. The main part it's is easy. don't say no. Okay. The rest, if you get wrong, is fine. Okay. Just don't say Jew. Just say goo. The first part is the part people don't ever say Jew. Gujarat. Just say goo. Gujarat. Gujarat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Being dyslexic does not help the situation at all. <laughs> You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.